basically in the website you have the options to do YouTube monetization, which is this, and then also to distribute your music. So it's just four easy steps, basically. And the, once the artists uh, have been able to distribute their music to Spotify, iTunes and all that, it's just five steps, 48 hours, and then we're bringing transparency back into the music industry because they are gonna be able to see a dashboard that is like, looks like this. So to see how much money are they gonna collect from their digital revenues from all the platforms, they can claim their money with one click and we're gonna distribute their money anytime they want. And they can also see the history of the previous months uh, maybe this artist, for example, is in 50 platforms, but here her music is being heard and discovered only in these platforms. So they give us uh, that give us a lot of uh, information to take a strategic decisions and focus on the platforms when the when it really makes sense for the artist. Uh, also, the source of sales, and we have this that is a curve of evolution. For example, the first line, the brown line, is Spotify. So if we can see that the artist was doing great in Spotify, but now it's going down, we can support the artist by putting putting the artist in a relevant playlist or doing some strategic action that can start bringing the results up as you can see in the graph. Also, we identified a need that the artist needed information and data to take touring decisions. So this map shows exactly how many streams and downloads the artist has in every country. Maybe they were thinking on touring to US, but their music is really being heard in Mexico. So that map helps them a lot. And of course, we have the detail where they can see cent by cent where the money is coming from. What I just showed is the dashboard for music, but we also have a dashboard for online video for YouTube. So they see how much money they have to, uh, to collect or claim. They can claim their money, see the history as in music platform, but they can also see how much money each YouTube video has made. The, the part in the, in the left is the money generated in their YouTube channel. The part in the right is the money of the user generated content. You know that fans are making videos using music of their favorite artists and now it's the mixing area where everybody's yeah. taking and content. They can claim you know? it, right? they can exactly. Claim those, so we can claim, yeah, we have artists that their songs are in 600 videos and we can claim for all those videos and all that money. We have the source of revenue, we have the evolution curve of the artists as well. So it's a very complete dashboard that they have a control of their careers because they have a small teams usually, so they need data in order to take the right decisions and optimize the, the, the limited resources that they have. Hey everybody, I'm really excited about our latest partner here on This Week in Startups. It's Ad Roll, and they do retargeting. What is retargeting? You know when you visit a website and then you see the same ads over and over again as you travel through the web on different websites? That's retargeting. It happens to be wildly efficient for startups and big companies alike. Why? Because most people are window shoppers and they don't make a purchasing decision or sign up for your email newsletter or download your application on the first try. Of course not. Just think about it. You have to see something two, three, four, five times and then you go, oh yeah, I wanted to buy that. Oh yeah, I wanted to download that app. Oh yeah, I wanted to put my email into that uh, newsletter and sign up. So if you know that visitors don't convert on the first try, then you need to try AdRoll. Go to adroll.com slash twist and you'll get a $100 credit and you'll learn about what retargeting is. And listen, I know about retargeting because we use it for our events now. If you come to one of our websites, we tell you about the launch festival for the next two or three months, and it really works. Companies like Pantheon and Dr. Martens and thousands of other uh, of other emerging businesses are using it, including James Heller, who went through the launch incubator. He's from Rapify, and what he said was amazing. AdRoll is an integral part of our customer acquisition strategy, how they get customers in the door, because it allows them to continue to garner impressions long after the initial customer interaction. It's also one of the most cost-effective ways to bolster any integrated marketing strategy. AdRoll is the best retargeting platform period. That's according to James Heller, the founder of Rapify, which came to our incubator and raised a lot of money and did very well for themselves. Now, AdRoll uses machine learning and data science so that you're bidding on ads quickly and efficiently. That means your budget is going to go much further. There's no wasted ad spend, and it's so easy to use. They have 24-hour-7 support, and they access all the major ad exchanges, including Facebook and Google, as you would expect. So you're going to reach your customers across all devices, all browsers, and all apps with AdRoll. Once again, please 
Go to adroll.com slash twist and try it out. You'll get a $100 credit, which is incredibly generous. They're doing that for the startups who listen to this program. Adroll.com slash twist, adroll.com slash twist. And go ahead and say thank you and welcome to the This Week in Startups family to Adroll. Okay, let's get back to this amazing episode.